guys so today I'm putting up this short video I literally filmed this in 30 minutes because I was just inspired to make it and I didn't want to drag it on any longer excuse the hat I'm not wearing any makeup I literally just want to get this up as fast as possible because I'm totally into this and I think this would be a really great video today I'm going to show you my take on the DIY Yeezy sock boot now I know there's a lot of DIY tutorials already on this um, there's that I was inspired by the new Vogue Instagram video with um, where she's doing it with like the nude pumps and it's gone totally viral I thought that was really funny and then also Carly Bybel just did a video on this so I was thinking to myself like how can I put my spin on this and make it look more authentic to the easy sock boot and then I just like then I just automatically thought of my mom's wooden Yves Saint Laurent pumps. Now, of course, you do not need a pair of expensive designer shoes to do this. You can find any shoe with a chunky heel. I think that's what really makes it look a little bit more authentic to the original Yeezy boot, so that's why I decided to do it uh, with these, but yeah, I think they look really, really dope. <laughs> of course, I can't take credit for this DIY. I was inspired by other DIYers and YouTubers, so of course, I mentioned Carly and the New Vogue, so thank you so much for this idea. And I say this in my video, but I'll say it again here. I will link alternatives to the heels that I'm using down below. I'll try to find something with a wooden heel or something that's chunkier because I really think that's what makes these look a little bit different, a little more like boot-like and a little less sock-like. That was kind of the goal for me. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right to the DIY and I hope you guys enjoy this. Keep a lookout for my video next week and I'll talk to you guys soon. So instead of a voiceover, I'm just going to talk it through because it's literally the easiest thing ever and I want to get this video up as fast as possible. Um, so I'm just going to go through what you need. So I chose a pair of fabric scissors. Um, I sew and um, make things for my online website so I have a pair of these but any scissors would really do. It's not like really thick fabric or anything. Um, and then also obviously your socks. So when I was at Walmart um, choosing socks, uh, one thing that was really important important to me was like the look as well as the edge because I find to have that like them not look super like cheap almost you have to really pay attention to the kind of sock you want to use so for black I'll just show you guys I just chose like some plain ones and then also the top has that like extra band to keep it up but I really wanted them like super plain because I felt like that would look best and most authentic to like the Yeezy kind of boot and then uh, for the nude pair, which I'm really excited to do, um, I also got these from Walmart. They're just a pair of kind of like this camel colored um, sock. I kind of like the ribbing up on the sock. I just thought that would add a nice feel without making them look too much like athletic socks. I don't know. So those are the two I chose. The pack of three was like three bucks and then a pair of these were a little bit more pricey. These were like four dollars for one. So I'm also going to talk about the shoes. I just think it's really funny because these are actually um, Yves Saint Laurent. They're my mom. So she got them a long time ago. These are a 36 and a half. I don't know the exact style again because they are quite a few years old but as you can tell from the bottom she has barely worn them um, and of course this won't ruin the integrity of the shoe and I'm being super careful. So one great thing about a pair of shoes like these and why I picked them in particular is A, they're black so they're going to look really solid with the pointy toe underneath. I thought that was really really great. It looks a lot like the Yeezy um, point as well as the wooden heel. Like this is everything. This is what will make the shoe look a lot more like a boot rather than um, those a few DIYs that I've seen. It's just a different look. I know like there's a Vetements pair that has the same kind of look with the stiletto heel, but I wanted something chunkier and made it and make it look more authentic to the Easy Boot. So this wooden heel was perfect. I'm gonna also try to find some um, like dupes as well as another pair of like maybe less really ex inexpensive wooden block heels that you guys can try these with. Also, if you have an inexpensive pair. Um, and one thing that you can also try is try to get like contact paper in that like fake wood and just wrap your chunky heel around it. Um, but I also think these will look great in black. So I'll leave some options in the bottom. So another thing that I have here is fray check. Um, fray check basically stops fabric from fraying. It is just a clear um, kind of gloss sealant that you could put on. I have this because of sewing, but of course you can order this online. I will try to find it on Amazon or something like that. Um, and that's also good if you want to wear them more than once so that way it won't fray around the heel when you cut the hole out here So yeah, let's just get started Okay, so I have this is so funny because it's literally gonna take a minute But I have my heel right here 
And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the socks. So I'm going to take the sock and I'm literally just going to put it on. You've seen this in probably other videos as well as the one going around on Instagram. Oh my gosh, I already like how these look. And then you're going to just kind of smooth them out. So I get them all the way to the top and then after that I bring them over my heel like this. And then you are just going to want to bring them all the way up. So you're kind of getting the look of it already. And then because holes stretch, you don't want to make it exactly to the size of the hole. So I'm going to take the bottom of the heel with my scissors and just snip like a small hole like that, like literally so small. And then I'm going to stretch it over the heel. I'd rather it be more snug than less because they do kind of fray a little bit. You're just going to literally want to pull it up and that is it. <laughs> like that's literally it I'm not wearing proper let me like realign these so that is literally it for this I think they look pretty good if I do say so myself so that is where so see the back here on this side that is where you'll want to put your fray check and then just cut off any loose ends but yeah not too bad if I do say so myself I'm gonna just do the other one and then I will show you so I think I like the black pair better. Another thing that you can do is like go with a glue gun and just kind of like do a swiggly down here so that way it's like less slippery. But I actually wore these around the house and they looked okay and like they felt okay. So yeah, that is the nude one once again. And what's cool is you could like actually take them out. I just think this is so funny and I'm so ridiculously pleased with how these look. The only thing is because they're socks, they attract a lot of lint so you can want to keep like brushing them off and stuff but so this is what they look like on what you want to do um, with this is you'd actually want to put fray check around it and seal it but like right now I just don't feel like doing it but that's what you would do to make sure they don't fray um, yeah as you could tell they're clearly like obviously not the easy sock boots but I think they look pretty good considering like this cost me three dollars to do I really think it's really just all about the heel and that's what makes them look so good but yeah not bad, eh, for three bucks? So I hope you guys enjoyed my video on how I created my my spin on the DIY Yeezy sock boot. Of course, if I will have other suggestions to heels that you could do this to down below, but of course, any other heel will do. And if you guys try this yourself, definitely tag me on my Instagram or my Snapchat. I would love to see what you guys are up to. I'll talk to you guys later. See you guys. Bye. Bye.